Now, well, that's Channel 3 go early out, right? warning right weather. Go out with a bang, go out on top. I like the week. Exactly. 12, <laughs> Going out with a bang. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Mike Slifer has the day off. Uh, I'm here to tell you it's a pretty nice day out there. It's a little breezy. It's a little, uh, a little chilly, but nonetheless, our Doppler scans the state dry. Good afternoon and take a look at Waterbury. Just enough puffy clouds out there to make for an absolutely outstanding skyline. 36 degrees right now with the wind out of the northwest at 10. Normal high for this time of year is about 40. So we're doing a little bit better than that in New London. Uh, you've got a little bit of a breeze there in New London, northwest. 16. So that makes that 43 feel substantially colder. So brace yourselves as you're walking out the door. Here are the numbers 38 at Bradley, 39 at Brainerd, 40 in Meriden, 43 in Groton, and 42 in New Haven. So uh, we're basically flat from where we were 24 hours ago. Very similar in terms of temperature. But look at this sustained wind 12 to 15, 16, 17 mile an hour sustained winds with gusts right now approaching 26 miles an hour. So uh, it does make it feel a little bit cooler, like 22 in Salisbury, 26 in Torrington, 29 at Bradley. So you certainly need that winter coat. All right, our satellite and radar scans dry. There are lake effect snow showers trying to cross New York State and into Connecticut, but they're not succeeding. So that's some good news. We're under mostly partly cloudy to mostly clear skies, depending on what part of the state you're in. And according to early warning future cast tomorrow's weather today, we're high and dry for the next several days until Thursday night. That's when things start to take a turn for the worse. OK, so Thursday into Friday, we have gone ahead and issued an early warning weather alert. It's going to be a really potent storm with wind, a lot of wind and a lot of rain. I know everybody out there who was hoping for a white Christmas doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, there might be a little bit of snow with the onset of the storm system. Maybe a little mix in the highest elevations of northwest and northeast Connecticut, but it goes over to rain and it just pours during the day on Friday. Here's the uh, European model. This is 3 o'clock Thursday, so we're still dry Thursday afternoon, but here comes that rain for Thursday night. It just pours during the day on Friday, and it's wind driven. You can see how tight the uh, isobars are. That's an indication, Those these white lines, that's an indication of how tight the pressure gradient is, and that's how an indication of how windy it's going to be. This is Saturday at 10 o'clock, the storm system is done. So it's gonna be Thursday night, into Friday, all day Friday, and then Friday night later should make an exit, but it's gonna be wet and windy. We're talking about gust to 50, maybe even 60 miles an hour. That could do some damage. And we're also talking about an inch or two or three of rain. But in the meantime, enjoy today, tomorrow, Wednesday, get ready for Thursday into Friday, Saturday and Sunday, an Arctic blast rolls in for the upcoming weekend. There could be a flash freeze Friday night into very early Saturday morning as everything starts to tumble in terms of temperatures. All right, 1220 is now the time. Carol, we'll send it back to you.